still looking good, I'm centred. Yep, continue. Just slow down, slow down, slow down, slow down, slow down, slow down. Water, 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 water. water. Okay, okay. So if we're going to put a spiral dive, just talk us through the situation with the spiral dive. The spiral dive is uh, quite a dangerous manoeuvre because the speed can increase very, very quickly. Um, and by pushing out the bar on a flex wing, it doesn't actually have any positive effects. So you actually have to pull the bar in, roll the wings level, and by immediately coming off the power as well. Gets right, roll, good man. Yeah, bar in, roll the wings level, and then control the speed out, and then keeping that nose low afterwards. Okay. All right. <coughs> Yeah, we say it's important to get rid of that that, uh, that power as well straight yeah. away. That's just going to exaggerate our, our situation. Fair enough. Okay, uh, security. My helmet and harness is done up, and my foot's covering the brake. Helmet harness is secure. I need to. I'm just going <laughs> to centre these pedals because I can't actually get full brake pressure. Yep, it will be cool. Just 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 having a check before we. Uh, yeah, you you proceed. Yep. Okay, and eventuality is on this runway with this wind. We may be able to get back. Okay, I'm happy to continue. Are you happy? Yep. Nice and gentle on the power. Okay. Are we going to do a, just a straight out departure? Straight out, yeah. So, oh, base, okay. finals, lower finals are clear. Yeah, no one on the downwind, no one on crosswind. Okay, I'm happy to continue. Let's yep. go for this. It's all looking good, I'm centred. Yep, continue. Just slow down, slow down, slow down, slow down, slow down, slow down. Abort, 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 abort. Okay, check your engine temperature. Uh, 45. Uh, the CHT is 62. That's sufficient, isn't it? No, half temperature 45. Okay, what's it meant to be? 48 minimum. Okay. Okay, so just uh, just turn us round. Okay, I'll go right to go left. Okay. I thought 45 was sufficient, sorry. That's no, 48 in the books, but we generally go for 50, just, oh, just right. to round it off. So just be aware of that for your, for your next one. Okay. It's I'll something. Backtrack? Yeah, just backtrack. And by the time we backtrack to turn around. Sorry about that. That's okay. I thought I had the figures. That's my, my mistake. A little bit of a check for you. Do you want me to go out of Alpha and back in? Uh, just go down to where we started. Okay. And then just do a U-E. Do a U-E. <laughs> do a U-E. Okay, so okay. going to keep us rolling. Yep. Temps are good. Temps are about 50 degrees. Okay, have a look at that. Bar neutral, bar in. I'm happy to continue. T's and P's are looking good. Applying full power. Airspeed's increasing. 40 mile an hour. 50 mile an hour. Bar is coming forward. Keeping straight down the runway, catering for the crosswind. Okay, level off now. Okay, so first of all, jump to demo and turn to you. Yes, please. Okay, so basically the first one of the demo is going to be a 45 degree uh, turn. Uh, I'm going to turn to the right or the left, depending on what this cloud is doing. So I have control. You have control. So 3,000 feet. So 45 degree turn. I'm going to maintain our height. So my VRP, I'm going to left hand turn, and my VRP is going to be on the towers. Okay, understood. Okay. So, have a good old look out. Are you happy? I can't yeah. see the aircraft. Yep. Yeah. Rotate that wing down to 45 degrees. Attitude and power. Okay, bank angle's good. So you're maintaining the height with the bar. Maintaining the height with the bar. And we're also 60 mile an hour with the, with the power. Yeah. And as you can see, we're anticipating. Roll the yeah. wings level. Attitude. Um, power. And power coming on. And it's as simple as that. Okay. So you're kind of bringing the power in as you roll it in, aren't you? Yeah, so basically, yeah, we roll the turn as normal. Yeah, for a level turn. Increase. It's a combination of power and attitude. So it's power, attitude to maintain that turn. You want to have a go? Yeah, have a go. So I'll use Alton Towers as my reference point and we'll use that big coppice of trees as my exit point. Okay, so we're having a good look around, especially where I'm going. It's going to roll the bar to the left, to our 45 degree. So 45 degrees. Combination of power, of attitude, of power and attitude. Putting the power in slightly because of the, uh, there we go, holding 3000. And coming up on my reference point. Taking my airspace to the right, and then attitude, power coming back, and we didn't lose any height. Well done. Good job. Hang on, you've got the throttle still. No, I 
haven't just taken off then. Is it, was that a cheat then? Did I cheat? I'll do it again if you want me to. <laughs> do it again. Okay. So, uh, reference point's going to be over there. Uh, the base of the Oxbow Lake will be my exit point. Okay, We're going to enter the cloud now, so I'm going to do it now. Airspace is clear. Bringing the roll in. 45 degree bank. Checking my airspace. Now I'm bringing the power in. Continue to slow. Bar coming forward because I'm losing a little bit of height. Okay, coming up on my heading, so checking to my right, rolling wings level, attitude, power coming back, and we're still at 2,900 feet. Okay, so don't come on that, off on that power so, uh, yeah. so uh, yeah, that was good. The only thing that you did do, you actually entered the power quite light on the turn, so yeah. we, lost, we lost about 100 foot. Yeah. Okay, so have, have another go. Rolling the wings level, 60 mile an hour, that's 45 degrees. Still holding 2.9, still 60 knots, still 2.9, 60 knots, going to my heading point, checking my airspace to the right, rolling out, attitude and gently back with the power, good luck, stayed on the same line. Okay, you have control? I have control. That power roll comes on literally as you roll in, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's pretty much instant, so with a, it's a combination of attitude and power. Yeah. Okay, and you've got to be pretty quick on that, so it's uh, otherwise we do start to, to lose height. Okay, okay, let's see what you get with this one. So, uh, reference point is, uh, sorry, uh, so we're going that way. Come on, 270. Basically, that there, that road, that road line will be my exit point. Okay, checking my airspace is good, and where I'm going. Okay, rolling in. 60 degree angle of bank, speed's good, height's good, height's good, speed's good, a little bit more power required, coming up on my heading, it's not quite 60 degrees, checking my airspace to the left, it's good, we actually climbed there, sorry, that's good, that's good, climbed a little bit, but you know, more than 100 feet, okay, try again, okay, I'm going to go to the left this time, so my reference point is going to be the coppice before Alton Towers. I'm going to the left, my reference point is going to be the Oxbow Lake coming out. So checking to the left, 3,000 feet, rolling on. Bringing the power in. Climbing a bit too much. And rolling out. Bringing the nose down, bringing the power back to level. Good man, well done. Good right. job. Enjoyed it? Yeah, yeah, well done. So straight off with the power, roll yeah. the wings level, and then control the speed out. Control the speed out, yeah. yeah. And you're going to find there's going to be so much force. So yeah, so first thing to do, off on that power. Yeah. Okay, roll the wings level. You're going to find that plane is going to want to pitch up. Yeah. And just to just control that that uh, that airspeed, nice yeah. and gently. Incorporate some power back into our hands off trip. Okay, so we're back over three and a half thousand feet. Okay, carry your hassle chips as well. So height is good, so it's three and a half thousand feet, and that will give us sufficient height to cover from the manoeuvre. Yeah. Okay. Carry on. So roll it over, enter the spiral, and then get out of it. Yeah, keep that power on initially. Power on initially. Keep the power, yeah, just yeah. go into that go into that spiral though with power on. Four more more. Now recovering, power off. Yes. Holding that bar in. Wowzers! And then bringing the power back in and re-entering, waiting for the speed to stabilise and I'm going to avoid this this uh, Wow! Hey! That is a lot of bar <laughs> pressure there. That is a lot of bar pressure. That is a lot of bar pressure. Yeah. Do you know what? That bar pressure recovery should be more than enough to stop anyone <laughs> trying to enter a spiral dive in the first place. Okay, I'm content that we are safe to, to do this manoeuvre. So maintaining the power, I'm going to do one to the right this time. So as if I'm doing a steep turn to the right and it's rolling on and it's going to enter the spiral dive. So bringing that bank on, bringing that bank on. Nose is dropping, speed's increasing. We're now in the spiral dive, coming off the power, rolling the wings level, stopping that nose coming up, controlling that speed back out again and bringing the power back in to regain level flight. It was more in a, a tight turn, a 
very, you know, 60 degree turn there. Yeah. So we'll just keep that turn on a little bit more on the next one. Okay. Okay. Just do the same again. I just wasn't steep enough in the turn there, was I? No, I just didn't feel steep enough in the turn to me. Okay, fine. So let's, let's do that again. So I'm going to keep rolling on. Keep rolling on. Keep rolling. Keep rolling. Keep rolling. Keep rolling. Keep rolling. Keep rolling. Okay. Okay, holding that bar in. Holding that bar in. Coming out to wings level. Controlling that airspeed. Waiting for the airspeed to stabilise. Bringing the power back in. Controlling the air back to level flight. And I'm now going to do a turn to the right to get rid of this cloud. Get rid of this cloud. Hey, is that one, Phil? That was, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I can see what you mean. See the difference? There was a lot more speed in that one, a lot I think. more speed, and we were actually pretty much facing the ground. Yeah. Okay, whereas the one before was more of a, you know... A descending 360. A descending, yeah, it was more of a tight, a very, very tight bank. First over to... Cockmore. Cock... Sorry? Cockmore, which is over to the north. It's all nice and smooth up there. Aye, that's why we went up there. <laughs> I'm going to hold it too full, so power coming back in, T2P is a good, feels good. Going with the bar. Circuit. Okay, so what I want you to do, I want you to approach your two and a half airs, my feet. Which is what we're at. Okay, because we are higher, Cotton Bore is, is higher than... Uh, I'm on QN, uh, QNH at the moment. Yeah, just stop as you are. Uh, and I want you to judge the height, as you normally would. Okay. Okay, so put the plan into circuit. Yeah. Yeah, clearly so. So I'll fly over. Yeah, state the, this height is fine, and we'll assess the wind direction, and we'll assess our circuit direction when we're above. Okay. Okay. If you're happy, you can land. If you're not, I want you to uh, to go around. Okay, to your choice. Is that a full stop landing? Uh, yeah, be a full stop landing. Okay, happy with that. I'm off the power now, and then do what I think is a 500 foot level. So I'm going to turn. Bringing the car in, bringing the speed, looking at the runway, looking at my speed. Power's to idle, looking at my speed, looking at the runway. Looking at my speed, looking at the runway. An hour. Looking long, I'm going to continue the approach. Double deck of bus light, coming forward on the bar, keeping wings level. Bar body forward, bar back, bar back. Hey! Good job. Well, we're straight to the river. Did you enjoy that? Yeah! <laughs> Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo! It's a beautiful, uh, beautiful airstrip. Ooh, beautiful. Come on. Beautiful. Come on. Let's get lined up first. Take a on the centre line. Slight slope as well, isn't there? Yeah. Okay, so uh, trim is set for takeoff. Yep. You happy in the back? I'm happy. I'm happy in the front. Right, let's take off. That's fine. Okay. Holding the bar in, keeping it straight down the runway, holding the bar in 40 mile an hour. 50 mile an hour bar is coming forward. We're out, holding that nose down, letting it accelerate. There's some juicy power lines there. Keeping that speed on because of the conditions. 200 feet, and I'm going to now start bringing my speed back to get climbing away. Okay, so I'm going to allow you to assess the situation at, uh, at Darlingbourne. Okay, there, yeah. So, where's the fuel? We've got that. Fuel is on and sufficient at the moment for us to do a go round and I'm content. Uh, going back onto QFE, which is 1,004 hectopascals. We're there. So we're above 1,500 feet for doing the overhead join, which is good in terms of climb up. Radio, I'm going to put the radio back on. Trim is set, and I'm just confirming that the uh, hand swap is closed. Okay, are you secure in the back? Yep. I'm secure in the front. And your helmet as well. That wind is cross. It is cross, yeah. Obviously. Okay, just a low powered approach. I'm secure in the back. I'm secure in the front. Dynamo radio, downwind, uh, runway 01. I'm content with the wind at the moment. I'm at 200 feet. On the powered approach, I will continue looking long, looking short, I'm slightly right of centre line, recovering, bringing the bar back, looking long, looking long, off the power, bar coming forward, bar coming forward, holding off, holding off, bar coming back in. Yeah, well, okay, well, 
the left hand wheel, but there you go, that was good. Yeah. Enjoy that? Yeah. Well done. It's got a bit of a bit of a kick on the on the landing. Yeah. Well done. Yeah, I enjoyed that. That was awesome. Okay. I'll let you do the down checks. Okay. Okay, Joel, so we've just completed exercise 14, which is the advanced turning. Uh, how do you think that went for you? Apart from one of them not putting the power on early enough, which means we lost about 100 feet. That's kind of, in my book, not, not very acceptable. But uh, yeah. the, the, the further turns and the 60 degree um, bank, sort of, as you said, it's, it's bringing that power and the roll in together so yeah. you're not dropping through the turn it's, it's all coming in and yeah. balancing each other that's out. correct yeah uh, yeah obviously the more we turn we, we lose we, we we lose height with we, we in with the turn so it's that it's that introduction uh, that that uh, of, of, pit, of power and pitch yeah to maintain that level turn uh, we got there in the end yeah yeah we, 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 we had a few practice runs and introducing that that pair and the pitch as a combination we was managing to maintain that turn and maintain that height yeah so towards Towards the end of the lesson there you'd nailed that yeah. really i was re really pleased cool. uh anything else um it'd say it's the first time i've ever done 270s but then obviously it's the yeah. wake it's go it, i think we clipped it at one point um, we did and it's amazing how much of a thump that gives, the gives you a good old thump yeah hence the reason why uh generally any more than 30 degrees especially 45 and 60 we we pick our vrp uh, as a 270 because as, as, as we did feel we just touched our our, our own wake yeah. and it does give you a gold kick in so yeah so bear that in mind yeah, yeah good I was, yeah, but other than that, I was I was happy with the steep turns. Yeah, uh, spiral dives. Uh, it's amazing how much that energy builds up quick. Yep. Um, coming off that power again, it's like I think when we did the unusual attitudes. Yeah, getting off that power is is rule number one. I think. Yeah. Um, I think I wussied on one, and you told me to go and do it again. Yeah. So it wasn't steep. Yeah, enough. it wasn't quite a spiral dive. It was more of a, a, a very tight uh, turn. Yeah. Uh, but no, again, we, we did quite a number of, of spiral dives, uh, and, and and you know the key there is, is, is to reduce that power, and obviously uh, to, to manage that the pressure on that bar to not allow that bar to lunge forward. Uh, and and again, towards the end of the, of, of the lesson, you, you you were getting them very very well indeed. I was uh, I was really happy with them. Yeah. Uh, anything more on spiral dive? Uh, the bar pressure was phenomenal. Yeah. Um, I think I, I mentioned it in flight, so just the fact the sheer power required to yeah. hold that bar to stop the nose coming yeah, up. That's right. It's almost more than the stability to... in that plane it just wants to it, it just wants to pitch up. Yeah. It, it wants to it wants to stabilise. And obviously if we were to allow that bar to pitch up too, you know, that to, to lunge forward too quickly, that plane would just pitch up into a stall yeah. uh, in, into an unusual attitude situation. So it's all about managing yeah you can feel the uh, feel the, the, the pressure on that on that control bar yeah. and just managing that pressure out until all that uh, all that speed has uh, has, uh, has decreased. Uh, but now absolutely fine uh, you was putting us back into uh, from the spiral dive it was nice and safe back into a back into a hands-off trim yeah which is really really good uh, and uh, I think finally finally your your landing yeah well, we did we did two technically didn't we yeah uh, <laughs> the, the the novelty of having to gauge a, a height by eye when you've got no instrumentation you don't know how high it is yeah um, certainly made me concentrate the mind a little bit yeah um, the, the fact there was a wind turbine there was a really good wind indicator so yep. you can really not be into wind yeah um, I, th I think it was just something nice and nice to, to do something different really and just land out somewhere else so it's not very far away is it no it's not too far away uh, and, and it did put some pressure on you because the the, the uh the height of the airfield is different to the height of the airfield where we are now so uh, you was landing uh, very visually which which is what I wanted I wanted you to concentrate yeah. on the airfields rather than look studying your instruments uh, how do you think the landing actually went uh, I think it actually went all right yeah I, I was happy with it I was happy with it yeah. it was good it was safe uh, I, I, yeah good landing yeah and the following landing um, back at back at base I think I ballooned a little bit but then held it and I was a I was a very again it's about making decisions and I was if it had gone on any longer I'd have been powering up and going around because yeah. we ballooned for a long time mm -hmm. um, but actually I didn't feel I was high high that we were, that I would drop through so I held it and I was happy that but mm -hmm. happy that we would land safely but if it had gone on any higher I'd have been power up and go around yeah, okay yeah it was a crosswind landing 
Yeah. So we actually did uh, a lowish powered approach. Uh, we did touch down on the left hand yes. wheel. Yeah, 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 we did. Uh, we could have held off a little bit further, uh, a little bit longer, but you know, it was a safe landing. Mm. Uh, and, and considering that it was a crosswind landing, uh, and you're probably quite new to flying their aircraft on crosswind landings, it was a safe landing. Yeah, yeah. so all wheels. But we will, we will practice them yeah. a little bit more at a, at a later date. Okay, but, but I mean, as far as I'm concerned, overall, uh, a very good lesson. Yeah. Uh, I've got no majors there at all, just j just minor tuning really. Yeah. Uh, uh, that combination of pitch and power, yeah, we, we got there in the end with that and, and, and that was good. The spoil drive was very good, landings were, landings were safe uh, and, and good. Uh, and we do pride ourselves on our landings as pilots, but no, I'm very, very happy with the, with yeah. the exercise uh, 14 that you just carried out. And we'll practice, we'll carry on practicing these, uh, yeah. some of these turns on the, on, on the future exercises as well. Right. So uh, basically every stage is a learning curve and um, come join us on the, uh, the next stage of my learning. So until next time everybody, fly safe.